Robert Downey Jr. might be back as Iron Man, and that is coming from his own mouth. He did a recent appearance on a podcast with Rob Lowe, who absolutely savaged the Marvel Cinematic Universe for what they have done to their own legacy with Phases 4 and 5. And Robert Downey Jr. told him something that seems to indicate he has returned to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Marvel Studios. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report that out of the way let's get into this here this is over at thatparkplace.com you should have this bookmarked because it is the number one place for pop culture news why do you not have it bookmarked already so about 14 minutes into the podcast low begins to chide robert downey jr for seemingly checking his phone while they are recording low asks is it some marvel crap you're going to break some stories here downey jr responds not just yet that's interesting choice of words there he says, not just yet. I'm not going to break any Marvel news, not just yet. Meaning, I think the implication there is that, yes, I do have Marvel news to break. I'm just not going to do it right now. It's going to be done in the future, indicating that it sounds like he does indeed have a deal already in place, or at the very least, already in the works at Marvel Studios. Maybe he's in negotiations with them, and that is what is happening there. So, that is kind of what Robert Downey Jr. said that leads me and I think a lot of others to believe that he has indeed returned to the Marvel Cinematic Universe or at the very least is negotiating with Marvel Studios to return as Iron Man. Uh, but we did get some more commentary from Lowe. He then shared he wants to negotiate for Robert Downey Jr. and went on to explain how he would do it. He said, I want to be on that call. I want to be negotiating for you. I know what your deal is. Here's what you do. You go, I'll come back and play Tony Stark again for you guys since you effed everything up. But I want a gazillion dollars, and I actually know what that number should be. And I want first dollar gross of every ensuing movie. <clears throat> so Rob Lowe with some damning words there for Marvel Studios and Marvel Cinematic Universe. Even he recognizes what they have done to the Marvel Cinematic Universe without Robert Downey Jr., without the creatives that they had in place over the past 20 years that they built it up. They completely flushed it down the toilet with DEI and ESG being pushed ever in every single movie television show that they pushed out there. And it has destroyed their storytelling. It has destroyed their films. It has destroyed their brand. Uh, Downey Jr. responded, sounds quite hostile. <laughs> but he then added, historically, you are an excellent negotiator and you're almost always out in front of your, of your negotiations. You're a beautiful advocate for self across the board. As a matter of fact, you're really the first of us to put down the bottle and live a sober, structured life. So while he's saying that low sounds hostile, he's like, but you are a great negotiator. So maybe that's something I've already done. Or maybe, maybe I bring you into my negotiation process that are currently happening right now. So uh, Robert Downey Jr. having fun with Rob Lowe on that podcast. Uh, we did get <clears throat> some more information later on in the podcast as well. Downey said, I felt so exposed after being in the cocoon of Marvel, where I think I did some of the best work I will ever do, but it went a little bit unnoticed because of the genre. So I think that is something that's really interesting there as well. He thinks some of his best acting work that he's ever done was in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I have to agree with him. That Iron Man movie is absolutely fantastic. There's a reason why that film launched the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's because he was so great as an actor. He really did embody the role of Tony Stark, brought that character to life, did an absolutely excellent job in that character. And fortunately for him, he got an excellent script, excellent script and scripts to work with uh, for the most part. I mean, he was in some of the best films that Marvel created. And he obviously elevated them with his acting talent. Uh, he would go on to add, I did myself a favor because the rug was pulled so definitively out from underneath me and all the things that I was leaning on as opposed to what my understanding of confidence and security was. Boy, did they evaporate and it rendered me teachable. So I think he's talking about before he gets the Iron Man project and all of the issues that he was having in his personal life. And then obviously he was given that second chance with Iron Man, with John Favreau, and he took, he made the best of it, right? Made the best of it. 
So, Danny Jr.'s comments appear to lend credence to a rumor from WDW Pro that he shared back in November that the actor had indeed negotiated a return as Tony Tony Stark to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And just to be clear here, WDW Pro isn't the only one saying this. We did have Tatiana's uh, Variety's Tatiana Siegel report that her sources within Marvel Studios informed her, quote, there have been talks to bring back the original gang for an Avengers movie. This would include reviving Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man and Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow both of whom were killed off in Endgame. However, she did add this, but the studio hasn't yet confirmed or hasn't yet committed to the idea. If we were able to bring those actors back, it wouldn't come cheap. But then we got uh, My Time to Shine Hello posted on the same day that Siegel's article came out. He said RDJ already agreed to come back. So that was on November 1st of last year. And then in his video, uh, WDW Pro said, according to my sources, this is true. Robert Downey Jr. has indeed signed on to Marvel. However, he did add this caveat. He doesn't think they actually signed a specific contract. He says, we think this is an intent to, uh, is because we don't think he's necessarily been given a script, although a pitch has probably been made to him. We believe that to be absolutely true. So the idea there is that Robert Downey Jr. is not coming back unless he sees a script, and that script is phenomenal. And that would be get him back into the fold. But clearly, uh, he was having some negotiations with them, and he does have an intent to actually come back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, reprise his role as Tony Stark and Iron Man. And apparently, the deal that's kind of being worked out is that it will be a return for at least three movies. So, kind of throwing a wrench into all of these rumors and reports is that you did have these comments from Kevin Feige. Uh, he spoke to Vanity Fair in December. Uh, talking about the Marvels. And uh, he said, we are going to keep that moment and not touch that moment again. We all worked very hard for many years to get to that, and we would never want to magically undo it in any way. Obviously referring to Tony Stark's sacrifice by snapping his fingers when he has the Infinity Gauntlet on his hand in order to undo everything that Thanos had done. Um, <clears throat> so they don't want to undo that. So that would seem to indicate that he might not be coming back to play that version of Tony Stark or that version of Iron Man. He might be playing some kind of alternate version. We did see them do that in Avengers Endgame. You had them bring in an alternate version of Gamora into the fold. So, and, so that is a possibility on something that they would do there. I hope if they do do that, they do bring in kind of basically the same character. It's a very similar character from a very similar universe. They do something like that. We do know that Secret Wars in the comics merged all of these universes and brought in characters from the different universes to the main universe. Obviously, the most uh, significant one being Miles Morales, at least in the 2015 version of uh, Secret Wars. So I think that's definitely a possibility. I know they have introduced a couple of Iron Man, I think at least a couple of Iron Man characters in the What If series. I can't say for sure because I haven't actually watched any of those episodes, but I do know uh, that he has appeared in a number of those episodes. I think he was in the like, Christmas special where he was riffing off of Die Hard in the second season that just came out. And then I think he was there's also a couple uh, episodes from the first season that he was in as well. Uh, we also had this comment from Marvel Studios' Stephen Brassard who told Gizmodo back in February, well, I think one of the meta-narratives of Phase 4 was about new characters. It was about new people stepping into mantles. If you look at, like, Cassie Lang in Quantumania getting a suit and Kate Bishop in Hawkeye, new characters being introduced like Jack in Werewolf by Night. After these first 10 years of Marvel storytelling, torches are being passed, like with Robert Downey Jr. no longer being on the table and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a new generation stepping to the forefront, which, again, has always happened in the comics. So he's saying that Robert Downey Jr. was off the table back in February. Obviously, things could have changed since then, given the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania bombing at the box office in that same month. And then the Marvels coming out uh, at the end of the year and absolutely being toasted, torched, uh, cooked, whatever kind of just destroyed, demolished, obliterated at the box office. Uh, just less than 200 million. I think it's I think I think it's like 199 million. It's like hovering right around that number. So uh, clearly th things might have changed between then and now. <clears throat> and then um, Robert Downey Jr. has seemingly indicated that he was not going to return. Uh, he did tell GQ in April, though, that the door was not uh, closed. He says, I have a lighted for now, real world to save, but never say never, obviously leaving that door open, that possibility. However, he told Digital Spy in 2019, we had to get off. We opted to and knew it was part of the job to get off the bus while it rolled on to other destinations. 
there's something very sobering about it. I'm glad he and I will be there to welcome others as they retire their jerseys. Uh, I think he's referring to Chris Evans, who also stepped away from the role of Captain America at the same time as Robert Downey Jr. stepped away from Iron Man. But he left it open. And then probably like the biggest piece of this puzzle is that we had this U.S. Customs and Border Protection employee claim back in July that Robert Downey Jr. was actually on the set of Captain America Brave New World. And uh, this is from Nawara Shora, a U.S. Customs and Border Protection employee. He said, they are filming Captain America 4 around the White House and near my office. I was on a quick errand walk as I noticed all the lights and equipment and finally asked one of the security folks about it. He was so talkative and nice. Said, Robert Downey Jr. was there last night and they were driving all sorts of supercars. We had a good talk and some laughs. I kept hoping for some producer to walk up to me and demand, you, you have to play my next superhero. Uh, he then shared uh, a photo of uh, what the, what he was seeing from the set and, and the production uh, from the shoot. So you can see it right there. And then there he is. So it's possible that Robert Downey Jr. is already back and he filmed some scenes for this uh, fourth Captain America film. Uh, that I think is now titled Captain America, Brave New World. It used to be titled New World Order. So there's lots of evidence that Robert Downey Jr. is back. There's comments and statements that he has not returned yet. I'm leaning to the fact that with Rob Lowe, like they have screwed the pooch so bad, you have to bring Robert Downey Jr. back, but you have to bring him back with an excellent script. You cannot give him one of these ham-fisted, crappy scripts that they've kind of just pushed together, thrown together at the last minute, as we have seemingly have seen in phases four and five with all of those films. Uh, you can't give him a script like that. I don't think he wants to come back to a script like that. I think his legacy does indeed matter to him. He wants to do uh, interesting projects. He wants to do things that are meaningful. As he said, he thinks some of his best work is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I tend to agree with him. I think a lot of that early stuff that he did with Iron Man was absolutely fantastic. Great character work as well. Uh, I think that's why we love the first Iron Man movie is because you do get to see some absolutely great character work from Robert Downey Jr., some character growth. Obviously, you get this character in Iron Man who is kind of uh, bought into all of his sin. It's uh, whether it's greed, whether it's lust with the women, greed with his company. He's a party boy. He likes to just go out and is enjoying the world and all those worldly pleasures. And that's just kind of where he's at. And then he has this life changing moment where he is kidnapped and basically imprisoned and forced to use his genius for evil. He obviously rejects that option, does not do that, turns it on them. And then he obviously changes how he looks at the world and he sets about trying to make things right and correct the mistakes that he made in his past. And it tells an excellent uh, moral story that I think we all can emulate. And I think that's why one of the main reasons why that film is so good. And Robert Downey Jr. does an excellent job of portraying that moral story. And that's what we look for in our superhero stories is those excellent strong good moral stories and they have really abandoned that in favor of dei and identity politics and feminism and critical race theory and all of these things that are at the end of the day uh evil so i hope robert Downey jr does come back but i hope he comes back and we get an excellent story a really well-written story and he has a good team around him and maybe they maybe they correct the course uh that they've put themselves on and he brings it back and rejuvenates the franchise. And I hope that's what we get. I'm not optimistic. That is what we'll get given the track record of Marvel studios of the Walt Disney company of the Marvel cinematic universe over the past couple of years. But if he does indeed come back, I hope he does indeed get a great film and, and we get to see the return of the Marvel cinematic universe to its glory. And I can't think of anyone better than Robert Downey Jr. to usher that in. But those are my thoughts on the matter. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.